Hi, I'm Miroslav and welcome to the Nech Empire, where I'm trying to show you legit methods to make money with print on demand. And in this video, I want to talk about art made by artificial intelligence. I understand that this is often a controversial topic. Some artists welcome the incredible possibilities of AI, while others are fighting with ethical questions. However, there is no doubt that AI art generators are here to stay. I personally am very excited about the possibilities of artificial intelligence and I am currently using lots of AI powered tools for my business. But I have never tried using AI powered art generators to create images and sell them through a print on demand platform. But because I believe that everything should be tried at some point, I decided to try using the Dream Studio tool to generate the art and then I set up a store on Redbubble and other similar POD platforms where I will sell the artwork made by AI. And in this series I want to talk about the designing process and how to get most of any AI art generator and I hope in the near future I will show you some sales. So let's get started with a simple explanation of what an AI art generator is. In short, an AI art generator is a tool that generates original artwork based on human input. In other words, you are giving the tool a few keywords or sentences and it will generate artwork from the data collected from the internet. At the moment, you can choose from a wide variety of AI art generators. But in my opinion, Delhi 2, Mid Journey and Dream Studio, which is former Stable Diffusion, are worth trying. And because AI generated artwork is really good, there are already some artists using them. For example, Mike Tika, Gene Kogan or Meme Akten are incredible and you can check their work for future inspiration. The most important thing I would talk about in this video is the style of AI art you should generate for print on demand. This is because print on demand is quite special and if you create artwork you need to think about the fact if people want to buy such design. Even if the AI can get you fantastic results it doesn't mean people will buy it. In my opinion you need to find your own style even if you are using AI to generate artwork. Most people are creating beautiful and detailed digital art, but it can be said that AI is in the control of the designing process. That's why you have to learn to use the proper commands to get the most of the AI. You need to find prompt commands that are not very basic because then you will generate art that looks similar to many others. So if you are using commands, you need to practice, practice and practice again until you find your own style. Another good tip I can give you is to use prompt commands with a color specification. Just add two colors combination or more, let your imagination work and give the AI exact input. But even if you use a detailed and specific prompt, you should add something more specific, such as an artist name. This way you can generate artwork that is in a style of a popular artist. In my opinion, less known artists are better because you are getting artwork that is not similar to any other. I like to use website called Wired Wonderful AI Art, where they are creating a list of artists who are using AI to create designs. Just scroll down to all the different styles and choose what you like. Then use the name of the artist in your prompt and see what designs it is generating for you. I'm putting the link to this amazing website into the description of this video to give you the chance to find your own artist and style. To show you how an artist name can make a difference in the AI generated artwork, I have used the same prompt but I have changed the artist's name. So you can see how different styles you can create. 
However, the best you can do is to test different prompts, different artists and colors to generate an artwork that will be unique enough that people will buy it. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions about this topic, please use the comment section and I will try to reply.